What's up everybody? Travis here from Travis.media. Um, I wanted to do this quick video. I just had some thoughts running through my head and I wanted to put them out there and see what you think. Um, now I've been coding now for over a year, seriously. Um, I did a little bit before that, but, but it was just every now and then and it wasn't uh, full time as I'm doing now. So anyway, uh, I was thinking back on the developers, other developers that I've met, and what some traits were that I think stood out with them that make good coders. And if you're new to coding, you want to pick up good characteristics and good habits as a new developer, um, or as a developer that just wants to get better. So in general, there's two types of coders that I've run into. Two, I want to keep saying coders. Is that is that the right term? Developers. There's two types of developers I've run into. There's the um, frustrated developer that knows everything, doesn't want to give you the time of day. And then there's the new developer that finds the frustrated developer because he needs some answers. And uh, of course there's, there's um, middle grounds throughout there, but in general, uh, good developers are not frustrated developers. Good developers are humble developers that uh, want to teach newbies and, and uh, are passionate about it. So anybody that's passionate about something wants to teach it. So um, I was just thinking, what are some characteristics? And I thought of three characteristics that I've noted, note that I've noticed that uh, make developers stand out to me personally. Okay, so number one is a developer who can type and not copy and paste. Now for a while, I would go to it was a Stack Overflow, Stack Exchange. I would go to one of these sites uh, when I didn't have an answer for something or if it was a code that was kind of complex. I would look up the answer. Um, now I knew how to read the code, which is good. So I would copy and paste it and then I would alter it however I would need to. But the issue with that is I wasn't able to type it from scratch. And so I was a copy and paste developer, not a writer developer, not a typer developer. Um, now, uh, so for instance, if somebody was like, hey, I need some event listeners, write me a double click event listener. You might be like, oh, of course you can consult the, um, the codex or uh, what is it, uh, whatever JavaScript, MDN, is that what it's called? Whatever the site is called, you can, you can check that out and you can, you, you can look it all up. But normally we just Google it and we say, oh, here's somebody who asked the same question and we copy it and we paste it and then we alter it. But a good developer can sit there and type it out. He can say, okay, event listener, first thing we need is this. We need to, and there's nothing wrong with looking it up. There's nothing wrong with checking the codex, of course. But over time, you want to be able to do this stuff from scratch. So that's number one. Don't be a copy and paste developer. Learn to write it out yourself. Number two, the second thing of a successful developer, in my opinion, is a developer who talks out loud as he develops and as he codes. Um, and that helps in not looking up the answer. So somebody says, I need an event listener. You're gonna say, okay, so I need to start with document dot uh, query selector and I need to find the class or, or whatever I'm looking for. I need to add the event listener. I need to put a click. They, they talk it out as they develop and, and that's so vital in my opinion. So that's number two. Number three is just being a humble developer. If you're really passionate about coding and developing, uh, you're gonna be wanting to teach. Uh, you're not gonna, and, and look, if people are bugging you all day that don't know how to code, that can be frustrating, I, I understand. But if you're really passionate about it, you're gonna wanna see people that are new to coding grow. You're gonna to wanna to teach, you're gonna to wanna to share your skills. And I've, I, when I meet developers like that who are just you know, happy to answer my questions or happy to show me the solutions, I'm just super grateful and I love the field even more for that. But when I run into the guy that's just like, oh, you're asking me again? You need to study up or something, just go on somewhere with that. And so, uh, I just wanted to put this together. I think those are three key things as a new developer that you should be working on, that I should be working on. And um, let me know what you think. Maybe there's more to it. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Anyway, peace out. Have a good day.